Well, so my Sega Genesis collection is quite small. Uh, if you watched my last video on this whole price series, I showed my top three most expensive Sega Genesis games, and they were all generally reasonable. And I mean like in the realm of like, some of the games I've shown in previous videos have been like three and four hundred dollars. You know, my most expensive one was like a buck fifty, which is a lot for a game, but I mean, regardless. My collection is quite small, so it kind of got me thinking, before I looked up the prices for the three cheapest games in my Sega collection, I was like, you know what, I mean, my Sega collection's weird. My Sega collection comes mostly from one transaction at a pawn store, I kind of touched upon that in the last video. I went to a pawn store and we got a big box of games and we kind of, me and a friend doled them out back and forth. But then I got to my three cheapest games on the Sega Genesis, and you know, as per the usual of this series, I'm going to talk about, are they worth anything? And, uh, one of them's kind of a cop-out, we'll get to that, but two of them... Two of them are horrible. Oh, Konami, you beautiful, beautiful bastards. Coming in at $15 is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Yes, the 1993 Genesis version, and, uh, <laughs> Oh man, you guys super, super damn dropped the ball on this one. I'm not gonna lie, like, I have not played this game until now, and I was totally hopeful. I was like, oh, alright, fighting game. Weird fighting game. I love the turtles. I mean, who doesn't? Uh, it kind of, like, instantly reminded me of the Power Ranger fighting game on Super Nintendo, like the one with the Zords and all that, so I was pretty hyped up. You know, I'm thinking tournament fighters based on a 90s property, you know, uh, my, my expectations are actually set pretty high. But after playing this, oh my god, like, this isn't worth damn nothing. This is not worth $15. This isn't even worth, like, a dollar. I don't, I don't know. I mean, just just check out some of these, uh, these super sick moves. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, obviously, I, I suck <laughs> a little bit, which probably isn't helping. But, like, I don't know. Some of these character choices are wild, right? Like... April, like, I don't remember April being some kind of, like, martial artist boxer, but hey, you know, I didn't watch every episode of the cartoon as a kid, so, like, maybe I missed that crucial episode where she, uh, you know, joined the, uh, the Shotokan and, and became, like, the master. But uh, I'll tell you what, this isn't, like, the only thing. Like, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the freaking AI, like, cheats, man, because, like, I even put on the lowest difficulty at one point, and these guys just stomp me all over town. I mean, one thing that really didn't help, I'll, I'll be the first to admit this, is playing fighting games on a Genesis just doesn't sit well with me. The controller was not made for fighting games. I know there's the six button pad, but like, the D-pad kind of blows, it just doesn't feel right. And, uh, you know, I don't know, that and the game itself, this game, isn't that great. So it has kind of both things going against it. You have a game that doesn't play well, isn't very good. Combined with a controller that doesn't play well, isn't very good. And once again, like, I know it's only 15 bucks, and that's complete, by the way, but, like, uh, it's, man, not even close. Like, this game, you know, Konami has done way better uh, in, in this time period, and, like, this was, like, something that I think slipped through the cracks, but, you know, hey, I'll let you guys be the judge. Uh, I personally think this game is tr hot trash, though. Okay, this game doesn't really count, but, you know, I have to do it because I'm doing all the prices. Coming in at $14 is Sonic 2 on the Sega Genesis. Now, I'll go ahead and you can skip to the next game if you want, uh, or whatever. This is worth $14. Come on. It's Sonic 2. Now, I do believe that this game is as cheap as it is, and that's complete, by the way. All these games are going to be complete. But I believe this is as cheap as it is because this came with every single Sega console, which was uh, arguably um, Sega's, like, big plan, right? So, you know, when the world of Super Nintendo at first was just launching console only, Sega was like, hey, we really need to package something to really kill Nintendo. So they packaged in Sonic 2, which was great because, like, Sonic 1 is good, but Sonic 2 just improves on everything. I mean, you know, hell, the spin dash did not exist till Sonic 2. Uh, this game holds many fond memories for me. Obviously, um, all the special stages being this, you know, the crazy, like, 3D, iso not isometric, but, you know, like, pseudo 3D um, uh, special stages, the Chaos Emeralds, the fact that you can get a secret ending by getting all the Chaos Emeralds. The gameplay's tight. The music's perfect. I mean, I could literally go on and on and on and on about why Sonic 2 is super worth your money, but, I mean, come on. Like, if you have not played Sonic 2 by now, 
I mean, something's wrong, right? I mean, there's so many ways to play it. It's not even just, you know, like, have I, have I not played it because I haven't gone out of my way? Hell, it's on, like, every console generation since the Sega has had some form of, like, Sonic Mega Collection something something, and Sonic 2's on it. I mean, it was on the Xbox Live Arcade, it's on phones, it's on everything. If you haven't played Sonic 2, I mean, something's obviously wrong with you and you need to jump into it, but as far as for the sake of this video, is Sonic 2 worth $14? Yes! Of course it- come on, of course it is. This game is friggin' dope. I mean, like, it's just so good. It's super duper good. And, and like I said earlier, I understand why it's technically, uh, only gonna be 14 bucks. Um, but I mean, you know, yeah, this is totally worth it. Uh, you know, if you disagree with me, I guess throw that in the comments down below. But, like, come on, you, it's Sonic 2. This game's friggin' awesome. Coming in at $13 complete is this piece of shit. Taz Mania. This game, holy god, in he this game sucks the dick. This game sucks ass. Oh, gee, I feel like AVGN. I'm telling you right now, this game is freaking terrible. This is the first time I've played it. Let let's just jump into this stupid, stupid ass game. First off, let's tune in your earballs to this crazy ass, like, shit music. Oh, wow, it sounds like someone just took the, like, Sega sound chip and just threw it down the stairs. Like, hey, here's, like, every sound effect we have. Uh, let's make it very random and, uh, and suck and, like, no, no composition. It's just like, hey, this is what you're gonna get. It's a bunch of fucking sound, uh, piled together with, like, no rhyme or reason. And, uh, hey, welcome to Tasmania. Uh, hope your ears are ready to bleed. The fucking turtle says arf. What the fuck? Hey, we're gonna go unfiltered here. Here's my first attempt at playing this game. Just, just watch. I love how every single time you land from a jump, there's some like trumpet. You go, yeah, this game. God. Who thought this was a good idea? Cause they're a fucking asshole. Oh yeah, also, uh, this game punishes you for playing it. That's right, uh, obviously there's a button to make you spin like the Tasmanian Devil, and you go, like, at breakneck speeds. But they don't tell you if this game is, like, a pretty tight platformer. So, uh, going fast is obviously, like, not what you're trying to do here. So, you know, to attempt to have fun is to basically lose the game. Like, what's with these long quicksand sequences? Like, there's these enemies that have a flat head that you can kind of jump on. But, I mean, what's the point of this? Okay, you have this whole level of, like, platforming and, like, weird geysers and stuff. Only to have, like, a, like, 90-foot-long sand pit that you just have to trudge your way through. Like, yeah, that's real fun. This is exactly what I want to do in a game. You know, just trudge through quicksand. Because, you know... Fuck Tasmanian Devils, that's that's what I think of when I think of Taz. Not like him going crazy and, and like destroying everything, no. Walking slowly through quicksand and while being licked by square rock monsters. Also, the platforming sucks. Like I said a second ago, it's like really tight platforming, but it sucks. And like, the detection of the platforms isn't good, so you fall all the damn time. So, you know, yeah, have fun. And, oh, try to figure out the path you're supposed to take. That'll work. Oh, and, uh, yeah, you know, uh, every time you fall, you basically have to run all the way back through, back to the, be you know, from the beginning, essentially, back to where you were, just to fall in the same spot again. Um, I guess you should get speed by spinning up as the tornado, but as I said earlier, uh, extremely inaccurate. Also, this game doesn't want you to go fast, but you have to go fast, so what the hell are you supposed to do? And that's not even the best mechanic. The best mechanic of the game is Taz, well, I guess this is true to the cartoon, will eat whatever's in front of him if you walk into it, including these bombs. And so what do they do? They put a whole row of bombs on, like, this ledge. So, like, the only ledge you can run on, the only ledge to land on to continue the level, I guess try your best to land in between the bombs or whatever because you're just gonna eat it and blow yourself up. Fucking great. Tasmania. Ooh, best game on the Sega. My god. Like, who made this? I didn't even- this is the second level. And this is as far as I got. You know why? I gave up. And you know, here's the funny thing. I recorded all these games together, back to back to back. This takes up the majority of my playtime for recording for this video. And like, that's a testament to my sheer will of trying to like, get to a boss. I wanted to get to a boss to show you guys like, hey, maybe it, uh, something good happens. I don't know. Guess what? I didn't even get that far. I gave up.
I gave up and you should too. This game is $13. I'd rather get, I'm, all right. I'm allergic to milk, deathly allergic to milk. I would rather get $13 worth of fucking cheese and then die. Just eat it like Taz eats these bombs and just fucking die. Cause guess what? This game sucks. You know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Whatever. It's don't, don't play this game. So those are my three cheapest Sega Genesis games. Like I said, Sonic 2, uh, you know, is kind of a victim of, like, circumstance. I mean, it did come out with every single console pretty much bundled with it. If you don't own Sonic 2, then something's wrong. So that one makes sense. But God, those other two games are just ab abysmal. Just ab just bad. Not, mm, not good. Um, but hey, what do you guys think? Do you own any of those games besides Sonic 2? I mean, you have to have that if you have the Genesis. Well, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you know, what are your cheap Sega games? Or do you have any Sega games that are crappier than the other ones I had on this list? Hey, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, you know, I don't know what console I'm gonna do next. And I think rather than make a poll, I'm going to just make a random number generator. So we'll see what happens. But hey, as always, my friends, take it easy.